Sunday afternoon here at High Voltage. Welcome home to Matt Tiff. Yeah, Thanks appreciate for coming it. up. What was it that drew Matt Tiff into racing? Yeah, so my, my dad was a big fan of it growing up, and he uh, raced some street socks growing up too. And so I kind of grew up going up there when we go to my grandma's house, we go see the races and watch that car. So it's five or six years old, and there's just the, the smell of the burning rubber and the uh, the you know the smell of the gas and, and everything, and the sights and sounds are just so incredible. So I got that bug when I was five or six years old. Now, you've driven the car here at High Voltage. Granted, it's just been the indoor track. And yeah. we're, today, you're going to experience the actual That's right. That's right. But is there any sort of comparison between a go-kart facility such as ours mm -hmm. and racing experience? Um, there's a lot of parallels because you have to learn how to carry momentum, what your braking zones are. All of those things happen at the cup level, too, or in, in any level of NASCAR stock car racing. So. Uh, to me, and go kart racing has always been a great parallel. So you start you know, with your, your your karting at Barberton. Yep. You're, you're up at Thompson. You're traveling with the go karting. What was the step? What made that transition from go karting to cars? So I always knew that I wanted to move into uh, to you know large body stock cars. So. Uh, there was a driving school down in Florida at the New Smyrna Speedway. At the end of it, it kind of said, hey, uh, you know, we, we got this deal going on at Speed Weeks to race a late model, which is like this car we see here uh, behind us. And uh, it's eight races in nine nights. It's a great way to get introduced to racing. What is your biggest cup moment so far? A lot of guys, when they sign cup deals, they get a race or two before to get their feet wet and, and kind of, you know, slowly transition to the cup series. I didn't. My first one was the Daytona 500, and so I was quite a few sleepless nights the week, you know, uh, leading up to the event, and, and just being there on the grid and, and realizing, you know, being a part of the Great American Race. Are there any tracks that you go to now where you're driving on the track and you're maybe under a caution or something, and you look up and you're like at Homestead or maybe Michigan, and you're like that's where I sat up there. Just... I grew up as a fan, so. Uh, going to these races and, and always having that dream of, of maybe someday getting there to actually get to that point and, and be a part of it. For sure, there's been sp some special moments like at Homestead. I remember exactly where we used to sit every year. And So everybody, that kind of brings it to a wrap of, of having Matt Tift here. Matt, thank you very much for no, coming out. You. Always a pleasure to have you home, so to speak, yeah. or back to Northeast Ohio.